I will make an overhand knot. Step 1. Cross the end of the rope over the top of the remaining rope making a Q shape. Second, take the end of the rope or the tail of the queue up through the loop from behind. Then third, hold the rope at both hands to tighten. I will make an eight knot. So First, cross the end of the rope over the top remaining rope, making a Q shape. So, like this. So next, bench the top of the rope and twist to the round ones away from the table of your Q. So, twist. Then, pull the end of the rope or the tail of the cube up through the upper loop from behind. So like this. Then, pull the rope and both hands to tight, forming a figure 8. So, this is now the figure 8. I will make a square or reef knot. So first, hold one end of the rope and your left hand and other in your right hand. Then second, cross the end of the rope and your left hand over the end in your right hand to form an X. Then, bring the end of rope in your left hand down behind the end in your right hand then back up so that the two X untwine. The left hand rope is now in your right hand and vice versa. So like this. Then, use the right hand to pass the same and back over the end now in your left hand forming the another X. So like this. Then, bring down and down behind the other end again and continue pointing through the rope that forms. So like this. Then, hold the two ends, symmetrical length, and you and you got a perfect square reef knot. I will make a granny knot. Um, square or if not, and granny knot are similar. Similar. So, this is right to left, then like this, then the right side, put to the left side, then down, down behind, then hold the two ends, then like this. I will make a fisherman's band. Use two rope of equal diameter. Then, place one rope over the other, and then under, so like this. Then, place it over its standing end, so like this. Th then, thread the working into the loop formed, then like this. Then, pull it to tight the knot. So, pull it. Then, repeat the other side. Then, over 
then under, then over again, over again, then under again, then now pull the standing ends of both ropes. So the two overhand will lock into each other. So it's now the fisherman's. I will make a rolling hitch. Okay, over here, I have a piece. I have a. I have an object here, piece of wood. Then also, I have here an end of the rope. So first is I will tie it here from the wood the rope. This. Then turn again. Then after, we will cross it here, like this, and then, here, here, and then, we will put it here, like this, so like this. So, here is now the rolling hitch.